Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu. And, you know, every time Jared Bauman stops by, I always learn something new. And this is going to be another treat for all of us. Uh, Jared's going to be speaking and actually conducting a webinar uh, in the next couple of days. And he's going to be talking about how photographers can be using Facebook more effectively. Jared Bauman is the founder and president of Shoot.Edit. And this shouldn't come as no surprise that Jared Baum is also an incredibly generous guy. He comes to inspire photo retreats every single time in February, and we have a great time. Jared, thanks for joining us, man. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Hey, listen, I'm going to jump right into it. I know webinars are a dime a dozen, and uh, you're bringing something really special to uh, photographers, and that's one of the reasons why I have you here. You're going to be talking about Facebook, and I, you know, I've been using Facebook for the last, I don't know, five, six years, and I'm, things, are, things are really looking up, really, to be honest with you. People are saying it's not useful, this and that and the other thing. Uh, you have certain specific ideas about how photographers can use Facebook. Can you give us an idea as to what your thoughts are about that? Yeah, well, I mean, when it comes to Facebook, certainly there's no secret that it's um, maybe not what it used to be, mm -hmm. or at least you have to use it differently. Right. But, um, you know, at Shoot.edit, we've been able to really um, – learn a lot about how to use Facebook effectively. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when Garrett and I first founded this company many years ago, it was all about uh, helping photographers grow their business, helping them uh, be better business owners. And, you know, we do that through helping photographers out with their post-production, but helping them grow their business is really uh, equally, you know, as important to us. Um, and as we've created this company going forward, we really wanted to make sure we could help photographers in all areas of their business. So Facebook seems to be one of those great ways that photographers can use to get their name out there, to get mm -hmm. their message out there. And it's, at this point, oftentimes being misused by photographers. There's a lot of un, uh, you know, lack of clarity about how to use it and stuff. So certainly by no means is it going to be a webinar that, that is comprehensively the right. go-to only way to use Facebook. But I think what we're going to try to do is really shed some light on a lot of the areas that people might not be taking advantage of and uh, also look at a lot of the areas that people might be misusing. Give us an idea as to how perhaps people are misusing Facebook. Perhaps one one example that would give people an idea is, okay, well, this is this is clearly not the way to go. Yeah, well, uh, probably relying on organic, as they call it in Facebook, organic reach is just, it's no longer a thing that really can be counted on. I mean, Facebook, when they first started, it was all built and based on this organic reach concept. And it was the idea that you could post something and actually all of your followers and friends would see it. And right. that's kind of, that's a thing of the past. I mean, you know, most of the time, if you post something, um, it would take a lot of, uh, a lot of things happening to really get the organic reach to spread. And it's still effective to try to do those things. But um, one of the most, one of the biggest misconceptions is that Facebook is therefore worthless because we don't get that organic reach as much anymore. But um, really, one of the most valuable parts about Facebook is actually learning how to use uh, some more of their boosting and advertising uh, platforms. Uh, to you know, it's pretty economical actually if you know what you're doing and how to use it. And so we'll go through and kind of talk a lot about that and, and how to counter what we used to expect out of organic reach and replace that with some boosting and advertising techniques. Indeed, uh, one of the things that that uh, just occurred to me is that you're not just teaching about you know, go use this one social media platform. It's, it's You're really teaching about, you're really teaching photographers about adapting to new realities almost, you know? The fact is, mm -hmm. f Facebook is going to keep changing and we've got to keep adapting to those changes. Otherwise, we're going to be left behind. Um, I know photographers who've used Facebook in the past and, uh, you know, or have just have loved it and then have said exactly what you've said, that, organic reach has just dwindled and that their the number of people coming to their website has dwindled and things like that so uh, and now you're saying that the only way now is to really play facebook's game going and really plunking down the five dollars or the six dollars per day or whatever it is that you we, we, you know you have as an ad uh budget to get that traffic is that true well, I mean, you, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, it's always adapting. Everything's always adapting. Mm -hmm. I mean, geez. Uh, <laughs> Garrett and I were just talking recently when we, you know, from when we started the company to where it's at now, just how different the style of editing has changed. You know, seven, eight years ago, the way that people edited their images was drastically different. And we've had to keep up with that by announcing, you know, new additions, new types of of, of, of custom color profiles and those sorts of things. Well, Facebook's no different and neither are all these other right. social media tools that we have the opportunity to take advantage of. And yeah, it's adapted. I mean, social media has changed as has Facebook, but um, 
I, what I don't want to do is tell anybody, hey, here's how to do it. But what we get the advantage of being at Shoot.it is we get to work with thousands of photographers. And so when we sit down and look at a topic like Facebook, we actually get to not only take from our experiences, but from a lot of uh, our photographers' experiences and look at how people are effectively using it. And in some cases, yeah, it's, it's plopping $5 down and knowing how to target. In other cases, it's just knowing some of the tricks of the trade, how other photographers are using Facebook, tagging, um, sharing, um, motivating, these sorts of things as well. So it's not necessarily just one thing, but really this webinar is going to be an open forum on how photographers are using Facebook effectively today and how, yeah, it's going to be a lot different than maybe you were using it three years ago or four right. years ago or five years ago. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, if there was a, a myth or two that uh, is associated with using Facebook, what give us give us an idea as to what kinds of myths are percolating up in the, in the among the photographers that you're working with? Well, I think a big myth is that if you boost a post, it's just kind of like throwing money into the wishing well and hoping you get your wish, you know. It's like okay. uh, just toss it at Facebook and hope that it works. And the reality is is that Facebook's kind of um, audience targeting is more advanced, many say, than even Google's is. And so what we're going to go through is how to actually take your ideal client, look at your target market, and then match that up in Facebook so that when you do spend some money on boosting or advertising, you mentioned 5 or $6, that's really all it takes. You don't have to spend a lot. You can spend a very low amount of money on Facebook, but you're actually getting your content in front of exactly who needs to see it. And that's one of the things about Facebook that they do really well that I think a lot of photographers don't necessarily know as much about because it is a little bit complicated um, and you do have to kind of know what you're doing so you don't just throw your money to the wind. But if you do know about that, uh, you can really make sure that what you're sharing is getting in front of the people who typically are the ones who, who will book you. And, and that's really valuable. That's a pretty valuable thing in this day and age. What would you say, uh, if someone were to sign up for this webinar, what would you say they can get out of it like right away that they can see a good quick result for on? Well, what's most important about this webinar is that really is that open forum. I mean, you know, okay. Um, I, I still shoot occasionally, but I, I don't own a photo company anymore. I don't, I, I was a professional photographer, you know, thir uh, 12 or 13 years. Right. Um, but then I co-founded shoot.edit and have moved completely into that role. And so what I'm going to be sharing is, um, almost more like a 30,000 foot view of what all sorts of photographers are using on Facebook. And so what it really should do is it's going to give you a couple brass tacks examples of how to use Facebook. Um, it's going to go through making sure that you've set everything up properly. It's going to go through a couple of the advanced features like this boosting with targeting. But it's also going to be a conversation um, where we share about what other photographers are using it for, how other photographers are finding success. And that's kind of, that, that's, I think that's unique and valuable because of the perspective we do get to have at shoot.edit from working with thousands of photographers. So it's the combination. It's going to be some brass tacks, uh, some examples, but it's also going to be um, really just an enlightening conversation to hear how others are using it. And we'll share some of those things as well. Well, that's fantastic, man, really. Uh, I think the fact that you have the ability to look at so many photographers and sort of analyze how everyone's using the social media platform and then sort of extrapolate all that data and just give us that information in, in an hour or so is is rich is absolutely rich thank you so much for doing that uh you, tell us a little bit more about when this is going to take place it's coming up in the next couple of days i know but give us the date and the time please yeah so it's gonna be on wednesday october 28th which is coming up pretty quickly uh it's at 10 a.m pacific or 1 p.m eastern uh probably go about an hour like you talked about um great thing about these webinars all the webinars we do at shoot.it is that they are recorded so if, you know if you're happening to catch this after the fact you know, Seshu, I know you have a lot of uh, traffic that might come and see this after the fact, but sure. it's all recorded, so you can always go and sign up or get the access to the recorded version as well. It's better live because you get to participate, but it's always good to go back and listen to it as well. Um, run about an hour or so. Fantastic. I will have a link, direct link for people to register for the webinar and also a link to the other webinars that you already have. They're incredible, really amazing amazing collection of, of resources of, of just regular you know, photographers that you and I probably know uh, in the industry who have come up and t just wanted to give us an, a, a sort of helping hand in understanding how all of these tools really help us get be better photographers. Not really just the craft part of it, but also the business part of it too. So that's what I'm really excited about. Thanks for joining us today, Jared. Jared, again, is Jared Bauman, who's at Shoot.Edit, the co-founder and president of the company. Uh, he's going to have a webinar in the next couple of days. I'll have a link. Thanks a lot. Oh, good to talk to you, Sishu. Take care, buddy. Bye. Bye-bye.